All right, boys, let's talk about Hawaii. I had a great time there, and we're gonna review everything I did there on this video. I'm gonna tell you how much everything costs, where to go, what to do, all of that stuff, and things that I missed while I was there. So when you go, you can have the greatest time ever. Let's get to it. No, 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 no Tony versus the world. All right, let's do it. So first things first, let's talk about what you had to do to get to Hawaii before you even go. So whatever airline you take, I took United uh, because the airline, my airline of choice, American Airlines, they didn't have a specific flight going directly to where I wanted to go. So I picked United. Whatever airline you pick to get to Hawaii, Honolulu specifically or Oahu specifically, they're going to give you a website to like the Hawaii Safety Health website or whatever it is. And basically what that is, you just upload your vaccination card and stuff like that. And they give you a QR code. And that QR code is important because they're going to ask for that when you get to the airport before you get on your flight. So make sure if you guys are going to do this, A, you have to be vaccinated because eh, you know the world that we live in now. And you have to have your QR code. That's super, super important before you go. All right, so let's get to the cost of everything. And you know I got it written down, so I'm gonna tell you guys how much everything costs so you know what to expect before you get there. So my flight, mind you, I was coming from really, really close, and that was the purpose of going to Hawaii. I was coming from San Francisco, California, on the west coast of the United States. It cost me $426.62 to get from San Francisco to Hawaii and back. So that was, the reason why I went there because I assumed the flight was cheap everything else was going to be cheaper I was wrong just to give you a heads up all right so let's move on my rental car while I was there cost me three hundred and thirty two dollars and eighty eight cents so I'm going to give you a total of all of this but if you can see where this is going it's not cheap to go to Hawaii it is not cheap and we're going to talk about that a little bit later on the the VRBO the the rental place that I had well what I came to find out is that VRBO, they're, they're actually like just a third party. This place called Midway Rentals is actually renting places in a ho in hotels in Hawaii. And VRBO is just the third party to for them to contract their people staying there. Well, whatever. Anyway, that cost me $1,414.70. Yes. For like four or five days, it cost me fourteen hundred dollars to go to Hawaii. That's insane. But I wanted to do it, and you know, I had a good experience, so I guess it's money well spent. We'll talk about that later too. The total amount for food I spent all around that whole time was about three hundred and sixty dollars. So we'll factor that into the total as well. Uh, going to Pearl Harbor, those tickets were sixteen ninety nine, but that was because I had a military discount. The regular price is about $21, $24.99, something like that, for, for tickets to the Pearl Harbor Museum. The pill box, obviously, that was free. That was a great video. Watch that if you have the helicopter tour. I told you guys about that. The helicopter tour cost me $350. And it was for about an hour, so eh. Comparable prices around the United States is almost the same, so it's that wasn't that big of a deal, but it cost me $350 gas on my last video when i was going back to the airport and i had to return my car gas cost me about 20 bucks so it really wasn't that crazy um, for you guys on the east coast gas is about four dollars and sixty cents or something like that here in california it's about the same over there it's about four dollars sixty cents four dollars seventy cents in hawaii so yes like i said everything is way too expensive over there and you know what Let's get into that now. All right, so things I hate about Hawaii, and number one by far is how expensive it is for no reason at all. Well, actually it is a reason. Hawaii is an island, everybody knows, so everything that gets consumed on the island, most of it has to be imported from the mainland, California most particularly. Housing, you can forget it. Everybody wants to live there. There's a thousands of tourists, but there's only a limited amount of space. So yeah, you better believe it. Housing, the, the, the cost of housing out there is ridiculous. I saw a gallon of milk cost $9 and change out there. And I am not joking. If you want to live there, you better think twice about that. <laughs> you better think twice about it. Gas, electricity, 
everything else, they have a problem out there. Everything's so high, the companies aren't paying the right wage for workers to do the work. So that means there's no labor out there. Nobody wants to live out there because the costs are so high and the wages don't, aren't comparable. So they have a labor shortage problem as well. And guess who's paying for that? You are actually, I am, and I hate it. <laughs> Uh, the traffic. The traffic wasn't that bad when I was there, but I saw it. I got a glimpse of it um, on a couple of those rides when I was going different places. The traffic can get terrible. So yeah, remember that if you're thinking about going to Hawaii and actually going off the resort, traffic is bad. Think California traffic to you East Coast people. Um, one thing, the homelessness. I saw a little bit of it when I got out into the city because you guys know what I like to do. I don't just stay on a resort. I go everywhere. I go see everything. So I went throughout the city and believe it or not, there's a lot of homeless people there. And I guess you guys can understand why. Things are so expensive. You get it. You understand. Well, the last thing is I hate. I heard somebody say the word hail. And I didn't know what it was. I don't even know if they were talking to me. Maybe they were just talking to somebody else. I just heard that word and I had to look it up. Um, and I wrote it down. It just means that you're not from Hawaii. You're a foreigner. And it says specifically, you're a white foreigner from someplace that's not there. And I thought that was pretty crazy that they kind of have like a derogatory word for people that are just aren't from Hawaii, aren't Hawaiian, which, was, which is ridiculous. Um, Anyway, uh, I thought that was kind of crazy. So let's move on to something that I do like. Well, actually, I don't like this. This is something that it, it all, never fails me. I do all the time. These are a quick list of things that I missed while I was in Hawaii. So I'm going to throw a couple things at you right now. Let's go. All right. The very first thing that I missed that I wish I would have known while I was there is the Stairway to Heaven hike. So bang if you guys have never heard of stairway to heaven hike it's it's called the haiku stairs and believe it or not it's about three um, 3900 something like that almost 4000 stairs that were going up to a navy uh radio station or something like that on the top of a hill well when you get there those views better than the ones that i showed you guys on the pillbox hike they're insane they're going to blow your mind and needless to say I missed it. I'm mad I missed it. But when I miss things and I find out about them, I always put them in a list. So next time when I go back to Hawaii, which may or may not be soon, <laughs> um, I have to build my money back up. I'm going to do that hike. And it was crazy. So the second thing that I wanted to do is it's actually not something I wanted to do. It's somebody I wanted to meet. I found out on YouTube and the internet through this girl called Neek, Neek Miller. Uh, yeah, her name is Neek Miller. She's a surfer in Hawaii and she just does the most awesome things on the surfboard. And I just wanted to watch her surf and just talk to her just to see, you know, what she thinks and how she got into it and all this and that. So if you haven't heard about Neek Miller, I'm going to show you who she is now. All right, so honestly, Honolulu is a big place and it'd be a miracle if I ever bumped into her anyway or just seeing her out there. But I just put that on my list because I thought she was really cool. And just to introduce you guys to somebody new, I thought that was something important. Yeah, I wish I could meet her and talk to her interview or whatever, but that's definitely on my list of things that I could pop or things that I definitely want to do when I go back. So moving on. The Bolokini Crater. I know I'm saying that wrong, but I'm gonna show you guys what I mean here. All right, so I have no idea how I bumped into this crater or how I even got on the path of looking for this thing, but 
It's a crater. It's actually closer to Maui. And you can take a boat from Honolulu over to the crater and do snorkeling and diving with whale sharks. That's on my bucket list. I had to die with a whale shark before it's all said and done. And the thing is that if you're in a section with the whale sharks, they're not even close to the people that are going to be snorkeling. So there's no chance of anything happening. Uh, the whale sharks are in the deeper water on the back side of the crater and the snorkelings on the inner the inner side where the nice blue water and all the fish and turtles and stuff like that swim. Um, also, if you didn't know, whale sharks are feeder fish, so they don't even they don't eat humans or anything like that. But when you see how big they are, you're probably gonna be scared of it anyway when you see. It. But me, somebody like that that's not scared, that's definitely on my list. I'm going snorkeling with whale sharks before it's all done. That's definitely on the list. So moving on. All right, so to wrap this all up, we're going to do something new here. Every place that I go from now on is going to get a Tony score. All of this is going to be based on things like how livable is the place? Do I do I want to come back to this place? How expensive it is? The food, the people, the cost to get there. All these type of things are going to get a score from me and Hawaii is going to be the first. Would I actually come back to Hawaii? I'm going to give that an 8 because I probably would. It's a great place to go visit, but that's going to bring me to the next thing. Would I actually live there? Eh, I'm going to give that a 4. I'm going to give that a solid 4 because we already talked about it. It's a great place to live, a bunch of things to do, but it's super expensive to live there. So probably live there. It's going to be on the downside of things for me. Plenty of things to do. Absolutely. I'm going to give Hawaii a 6. I mean, you saw in a couple days that I was there, I got into a lot of different things for free, cost money, whatever it is, there are things to do there to keep you occupied. The food, the food, and eh, I'm gonna give that a three. The reason why I'm gonna give it a three is because it was really just American food and a lot of it really wasn't that good. There wasn't even that much of a variety. There was like no Mexican food. There was no anything other than like burger and fries and fried chicken and stuff like that. I couldn't find really anything that was really, really good. They had some authentic Hawaiian restaurants. I visited one or two of them and they were okay, but you know, I would like a more a bigger variety in some place that I would even consider living. The cost to get there, I'm gonna give that a six because depending on where you're from, what side of the United States or what side of the world you're coming from, it's gonna be expensive to get there. It was cheaper for me because I was coming from really, really close. Um, like I said, San Francisco, but overall, I'm gonna give it a six. It's on the upside of things of uh, really expensive. So the cost of all the goods there, I'm gonna give that an eight because that's also really expensive. Like I mentioned before, I saw a gallon of milk that was over $9, one gallon. Yeah, that's an indicator that it's not good there. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good for your dollar to to live in some place where the cost is really, really high and stuff like that. And that's going to be the first, the very first Tony score for Hawaii. And what I'm going to do is all the other places I'm going to rank compared to this over and over and over again. So you guys can make a decision on if you want to go there or not. And just like that, boys, that was my review of Hawaii. I loved it. It was expensive. I would definitely go back. Would I live there? Probably not. But anyway, don't let me deter you from going to see the world. This is Tony versus the world signing out. Come back next time because you know we always got more. We are out.